Okay, so a common question that students will have on their real estate licensing exam is how to calculate property taxes. Now, there are two ways to calculate property taxes for insofar as the real estate exam goes. So, the first one is using what we call the mill levy. Now, the mill levy approach to calcul calculating property tax is relevant when there's more than one government agency that has access to levying or assessing taxes on real property. For example, here in Nebraska, we have over 11 different agencies that have access or they tap into taxing property for revenue. Now, in those jurisdictions where there's typically only one government agency, then we'll, they typically use the, the dollar value method. And I'm going to show you how to do that at the end of this video. The first thing we're going to do, though, is tackle the mill levy approach. Now, you need three out of four items for you to successfully calculate property taxes that are owed based on the mill levy or using the mill levy method. Now, the test question, the licensing exam, will always give you at least three out of the four so you can make the calculations. Now, I've had some students say they've actually given them all four. So you have to be prepared. Now, with any math problem, including this one, you have to know the process and you have to commit that process to memory because if you know the process, or in high school, our high school math teachers used to call them formulas. So if you know the formula, then all you have to do is know where to plug in the numbers and you can always get the right answer. So we have to calculate this to memory. All right, so let's take a look at a sample problem and I'll show you how to calculate taxes. 1621 Pacific Street has an appraised value of $200,000. The county taxes real property at 50% of the appraised value. The mill levy is decimal 010. Calculate the taxes owed. All right, so in our example here, we have, according to the math problem, we have an appraised value of $200,000. And we have a tax rate of 50%. It also said that we have a mill levy of zero or decimal 010. So again, we've gotten three out of the four things that we need to make our calculations to find out what our taxes are owed. Now, understand this. The real estate licensing exam will always give you enough information for you to complete the test question. And this is true with math as well. Now, again, sometimes I've heard, or I've heard students say that they've given them all four, but here we have enough information where we can calculate those taxes. So we take the appraised value and we multiply it by 50%. Two ways to get our assessed value here. So 200,000 times 50% equals our assessed value. And there's two ways to go about this. You can take 200,000, type in 50 and hit the percent key on your calculator and it'll give you the value. Or if you have a very simple computer, many states when you take your exam, uh, they won't allow you to have anything other than a very simple calculator. So you're gonna need to know how to convert this. So it'd be 200,000 multiplied by decimal 50. All right, a little fourth grade math there. So we take 200,000 multiplied by 50%, that gives us an assessed value of $100,000. Then we take $100,000 and we multiply it by decimal 010, and that should give us a calculation of $1,000 tax that's owed. That's how we use the mill levy method of calculating property tax. Now let's take a look at how to calculate property tax using the valuation method. Okay, the second way that we can calculate taxes is using the valuation method. Now let's take a look at a sample problem. 1621 Center Street has an appraised value of $250,000. The county assesses taxes at a rate of $2.50 per $100 of valuation. Calculate the taxes owed. All right, in our example here, our property has an appraised value of $250,000. And we're gonna multiply that by $2.50 per $100 of value, all right? 
So what I like to do is just put in $2.50 right here. Now there is a shortcut to this, okay? Um, because the test question could say something like $250,000 is the appraised value and they tax at $2.50 per $1,000 of value or $10,000 of value. So what I've learned over the years is you write in your raw number of $2.50. Now there are two zeros in 100. So we're going to move our decimal place to positions. Remember, that's just a little bit of third grade math there. So we're going to take $250,000 and we're going to multiply it by decimal 0.0250. And that gives us a tax calculation of $6,250. So taxes owed is $6,250. Now, all right, so let's look at a different scenario here. Let's say that it's $250,000 times $2.50 per $1,000 of value. All right, let's look at a different scenario here. Maybe the test question says the appraised value of the property is $250,000, but the county taxes it at a rate of $2.50 per $1,000 of value. So how do we do that? Well, we put our 2.50, and then there are three zeros in 1,000. So we're gonna move our decimal place three spots. So we take $250,000 and we multiply it by decimal 0025. And that gives us the amount of tax owed in the amount of $625. So it's just a, a quick little shortcut on how to calculate property taxes when you're using the valuation method. Do me a favor, if you have a question, please put it down in the comment section. Number two, if you already have taken your exam and you remember that you had a test question similar to this or a test question regarding a, a valuation method or, or how to calculate taxes, please put it down below. We are a community here and we want you to share your experience with everybody. All right, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for joining us. If you have not taken your test yet, best of luck.